Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on our test server. The Resplendent Dancer skin is up, guys. That is right. It is only $9.99, so they do give you a $5 discount or a 30% off if you do pick it up. Very cool. We know the other skin, such as Baden, is going to be free. The skin for <clears throat> Grez is going to be free. But today we're looking at the Gloria Spectacular, and we are going to continue with our Lost Grace event. Um, so we went through... Yesterday, we did the first part of it. There we have Rose instead of Oscar. Absolutely love it. So we went through this first section right down here. If you check out day one, that is day one. Um, this one will actually open a little bit later today, but this is the desert, guys. This is day two. So here we're gonna speak to the desert tribe. Um, and there we go. Of course, we got Setrana with the desert tribe. And here is choose your side. Now we've seen this earlier. Um, We've seen these before. I, I'm thinking Aziz might win, but you know what? I'm gonna go with Orthos in this one. If you do not win the battle, you have to fight them. So we again, we've seen this before. If you do not win the battle, but I know here, even though Orthos cannot ult, um, Rosaline does an incredible amount of damage, but I, I think it, it, Aziz is gonna be the one to win here um, because we can never ult. But there we go. We got an ult off, boom. We got double alts, triple alts, just like that, guys. We took out all of those Aziz, so we won this round. Very nice. So looking over here, guys, we have a relic to pick up, which Orthos Collar, when an allied hero receives a shield of any kind, shield value is increased by 20%. Absolutely love that one, guys. And interesting enough, I'm not sure what we're looking for over here. It looks like most of this is kind of a dead end. We got to look for some clues. We got a couple more fights around here. Let's see who we got. We have Flora and we have, um, see, Kren, I think is going to win this one, but I know it's really hard to bet against Flora. Um, again, th this is kind of a lot of RNG in here. I'm going to have to see exactly how this works, but I was thinking Flora would burn down Kren um, relatively quick, which very nice. It, it worked out perfectly. Let's pick up another chest right there. It looks like we have a couple more batting fights right here as well. So we have Flora versus Aziz. Now Aziz lost last time, but again, I'm, I'm thinking with Flora, strength of both sides are balanced, but it's really hard to deal with Flora, guys, especially because all of these heroes are stacked up and they are stacked up like crazy. So Flora, again, if they alt, boom. Guys, bet on Flora. Very nice to see getting through another one pretty easy. Looks like we have another trial right here and a couple more coming up. We have Gwen and we have Pippa. Now Pippa's gonna provide a really strong lockdown team, but I don't know if Gwen's gonna get these arrows off, guys. This might be a, a tough one to deal with. I, I was thinking with the sleeps is once Pippa ults, um, Pippa's gonna sleep everybody. And they're just going to honestly lock down this entire team, just like we did right there. Again, thinking about the heroes and everything else. So Rescuers Medallion, Backline Allied Heroes deal 25% more damage and recover 25% more energy. Absolutely love that one, guys. That is a very, very strong one. All right, we got Titus and we got Kren. I know there's going to be a pushback, but I'm thinking, you know what, let's go with Kren on this one. Titus, I know, is going to do the Howl, but I don't think they'll push back enough to take out all the Krens. Could be, yep, completely wrong, guys. Titus just destroyed us there. That means since we failed to bet on the team, um, we have to fight them. Again, not, not super tough. I know these events are not meant to be super tough, but there's the big Titus stun. Then, of course, guys, with the Ein's alt, we get that one completely done, which allows us to pick up another relic. The Book of Fortitude, frontline heroes receive 25% less damage and recover 25% more energy, which I absolutely love. Looks like we have a chest right over here. And then we have a hole in the ground. This cave made by someone leads to nowhere. Entrance to the cave is small. Only a Dury would be able to get in. Oscar, look, it's a freshly made tunnel. There we go. So we picked up a couple more clues, guys. An essential clue. Man-made cave is located in the desert outside of the city. The cave is narrow, meaning regular-sized folks cannot enter it. That's right, guys. We picked up a little bit more of our suspicions in here, which means we pick up a little bit more loot, which I love. And I believe that is it for day two of this portion, guys. 
Again, I, I believe this is gonna take us back to the camp. We can check out the leaderboard. I believe we can accuse another hero. Um, last time we actually accused Thane. There we go, so right now, um, discover clue seven to unlock the corresponding keyword. Um, select the real culprit to receive the detective rewards of 500 diamonds, which again, discover seven clues, five clues, and then 10 clues to unlock. So selection starts in four days. We still have quite a bit of time, guys, before we can actually get in there. But interesting enough with that man-made hole, that makes me think of Kren under suspicion, um, just for the simple fact that it's too small for a human, which both of them are kind of the, the human size, unless of course, Leah Frick sent his dogs in there, which would be pretty cool. So again, guys, that'll do it for day two of the Lost Grace event. Um, we're definitely getting through here, picking up some more of our or our um, crystal chest, more of our gold chest, and of course, powerful enemy. There we go, calculated in one. So we're gonna have powerful enemies to fight within here. Let's see what the rewards are here, guys. Doing damage. We got some, got some engraving mats, got some red chests, which I absolutely love. Let's see if we can actually do this damage. And I'm hoping that we get, again, Ainz. Um, Who can buff up Ainz here? We have all of our heirlooms, so they're actually in effect here. Which again, I'm, I'm really hoping that a hero, possibly like Lucretia, could do a considerable amount of damage, but we could also look at doing someone like the twins. I'm thinking the twins and then like a damage amplification. I believe we have rain. Oh, we don't have rain built up enough. I was hoping we could get someone to really do some amped up damage here. But you know what? Maybe Oden. We got the twins. You know what? Let's put Mortis in here. I know we haven't built out Mortis too much, but not selected all. We have to select our heirloom. So what do we want? We want the damage. Deal 25% more damage. So there is number one. Every time we receive healing, um, every time an ally. Let's do the front row. Allied hero receives a shield of any kind time. And then, of course, we have here. Every time an allied hero resists a control effect. Let's go with that one, guys. We'll see exactly what our damage looks like on this boss fight. Buffed up Ainz, that is what I wanted to see. I'm thinking Arthur's just going to hold the line. And with it being single target, there's a lot of heroes, guys, that will do damage to very specific targets. Um, a star could have been pretty good in here, just again, because of that single target damage. And you can see right here, guys, the Enrage Timer is just absolutely skyrocketing with the team we have in here. Again, heroes like Soros in here um, would probably do well. I think Grez would do really well. We could actually swap out one of these heroes to put Grez in here. But Hendrik is a pretty tough target to deal with here, guys. But it is cool to see, guys, free rewards. That, that's really the big thing with these events. Um, you are getting free, absolutely free rewards. Which here, guys, we're at 900 million. I think we can break probably a billion with our timer left. So I believe the 500 million was the key that you wanted to hit to pick up all those rewards. Or no, maybe, maybe we're not high enough. Let's see what we got. No, two and five. We're definitely gonna have to look at some of these teams, guys. I, again, single target. I'm feeling like there's gonna be a couple in here with Grez, Scarlet Grez, that was my thought. Let's see exactly what we do with that one. Again, Scarlet Grez. So your typical boss comp right here, um, again, Scarlet Grez, we have both of these and then running Warwick in here as well um, for the major debuff, guys. This, this is a pretty strong one. Again, we'll do front line, back line. I'm not sure how many different ones we have in here. Um, value, see the shield is increased right there. Um, right here, damage they receive. I don't want damage mitigation. I don't want the healing. Um, we'll have to go from the star until we get more of our medals. I'm feeling like this one um, is going to be kind of a no-brainer. This is a really strong boss killing comp. Warwick, of course, is going to do a big damage reduction on Hendrik, which is huge for him because Hendrik does an incredible amount of defense or has an incredible amount of defense. Grez is going to keep the minions up there. Twins are going to pop the haste up on the minions, which I love, guys, and look at the damage already. 31 seconds in, and we're already at that 2 billion mark. It's incredible the amount of damage that Scarlet does, guys. Just a straight 
Reign of Fire. I do have to build up Scarlet a little bit further on the test server, but we're looking to hit five, 3.6 right there. I believe five is gonna be the one, the, the magic number we're looking for. But now we're at a point, guys, look at the Enrage. We're over 12, 13,000 for the Enrage, 14. So it's gonna be pretty easy for this one. There's our six mark, seven mark to hit that five billion damage. And this one, guys, if Scarlet's Bolt goes astray, um, usually at this level, it will kill whoever comes through. Hendrik has actually turned around. You can see Hendrik taking out our Skeletal Warriors. Cannot wait to see Grez's new skin, guys. It's going to be very cool to see um, when this comes up. I'm hoping it's going to be pretty soon that we're going to have the option to earn the skin. I don't think it's going to be completely free, um, but you have to spend probably resources to buy it or earn it, essentially. There's our new record, guys, giving us our maximum rewards. Make sure you pick them up. It looks like there's two other boss fights that are coming as well. Hendrik said the formal apparel has significantly meaning and that they weren't concerned about the hypogen. So that actually gave us quite a few more clues in here um, that we just picked out. So enemy two and enemy three are going to be coming up in the future. Every day we're going to be back with this to continue the Lost Grace event. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.